The program, which targeted 5.5 million school officials nationwide, is aimed at providing education for all, address the challenges of malnutrition among children, and boost local agricultural production. In Jigar State, about 100,000 pupils across the 27 local government areas are targeted under the program. Governor Muhammad Badr Abbaqar, represented by his deputy Ibrahim Hassan Hadeja, said there should be synergy between the federal and state governments as well as adequate arrangement for the success of the program. Time again to actually supplement those uh, nutritional deficiencies, which is vitamin A or D, uh, they create a menu to actually add those deficiencies so that they can uh, uh, provide for healthy children. Because uh, apparently there is a correlation between how well a child is doing in school and uh, the kind of nutritional, uh, 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 nutritional deficiency uh, or lack of thereof that is present in that area. He advised that the program should look inward to address teacher-student ratio gap, saying Nigeria needs about 1 million qualified teachers to address the challenge. Representative of the National Coordinating Office of the program, Mr. Dutton Adebayo, said the program is a multi-sectoral, targeting the FUA with the aim of fighting poverty in the land. This program is targeted as a safety net for the poor. It's meant to elevates the effects of poverty within our nation. And how does it do it? By telling your, taking your child to school, a public primary school, a woman who is either a widow or who does not have any job or a father who doesn't have anything to do, will have this security that at least if my child goes to school, he or she will have a balanced meal to eat. State coordinator of the program, Bala Usman Chamo, said, Jigawa being among the states that started the program will support the initiative to achieve set goals. The program is designed to provide feeding to school fulfills from class 1 to 3 at the national level, while the state governments will take responsibility of feeding pupils from class 4 to 6. From Dusi Habib Hussein, NTA News.